All right, Kryptonauts, today let's look at T-Rex Miner and its lock core clock feature. I just uh, watched an older video by Red Fox Crypto and he mentioned you can go in and set this and this may uh, effectively lower your wattage usage on the GPU, making it more efficient while maintaining the uh, same hash rate. So this actually... Uh, was of interest to me because you want to be as efficient as possible. My goal is to obviously reduce power consumption and heat. So I'm going to go play with this one first. And this is on my uh, Lenovo laptop, which has a 1660 Ti. And I'm going to go ahead and try and set this uh, lock core clock value to the ranges recommended in his video. And I want to see if it actually affects the card in any way makes it run more efficient and it is on a laptop 1660 ti so i don't know if that has any uh significance but we'll go ahead and try this and the first thing i got to do though is i'm running an older 024.2 t-rex i need to get the latest i just want to have the latest and greatest right so t-rex miner download github just in case it's best to bookmark these two i think i probably already did but I go in here, look, I'm, I'm a bit off. There's the latest one is 024.7. Uh, let's go grab mine, and I just download this puppy right here. And I'm just going to take my current batch file, copy it over, and um, edit it with the lock core clock setting. All right. So as with anything, RTFM read the manual and these are the release notes on the t-rex minor download github and i just did a search for lock core clock just to get a little more information when they introduced it and what to do with it uh this actually is for the this one is for the algorithm auto like us too which is the ergo but they do mention kind of what the concept here is and they're talking about uh memory requirements buffers and all that stuff and it, to take the full advantage of this mode is recommended not to set the power limit, but instead limit the power consumption with lock core clock. This will allow the miner to draw more power during data set rebuild and not lose hash rate. If you prefer to keep your power consumption constant, you can still set the power limit. However, in that case, you'll notice a slight hash rate drop after each block. Please note that in both cases, the miner should give you higher pool side hash rate in the long run compared to previous versions, miners reported hash rate, um, miners reported hash rate now fully accounts for a data set uh, creation time. So it gives you an idea what they're doing. This happens to be, like you said, with the um, Auto like us 2 algorithm. And uh, we'll see how it works out in the uh, ETH hash. So a little comparison test, the benchmark right now without touching this, this is the old older version of T-Rex. We're running uh, 1660 Ti, 27.33 mega hash, temperature 63 Celsius, power 79 watts. So we're at 79 watts at 27.33. And with the uh, settings I currently have, I have MSI Afterburner. And I really couldn't set much on this. All you can set is the core clock it is at zero. I don't think I touched that. And memory clock is 795. All right, so what Let's I'm doing is moving my current nice hash. I'm, I'm mining ETH hash to nice hash and getting paid out in Bitcoin. Now I have a batch file for nice hash and I'm moving that over. I'm going to set some other stuff in here, what I prefer. And in here is one I like is putting an extra line above in the batch file to show which cards are available. And I know the batch exit executes this as well when it starts up, but I like to have the extra line just so I know to look for it when it starts up. So I'm gonna copy this guy. And I need to go over to my nice hash file. Yeah, I'm in 247 win. Bring that open. And I'm gonna make a separate line here. It's hard to do this one-handed, so let's just Paste this in here. 
And what I do, I gotta adjust, since I move stuff around, I need to adjust this executable path. So what I do, I just go over here and I click in the location bar and I just copy that. Bam! Go over here, paste that in there. And then what I'm gonna do is grab the T-Rex right here. I'll do right click, copy, put this guy right up here, need a space. That'll just run an ad devices info. Now, what do we got going on here? This is the old Hashimoto guy, and I have a dash MT2. What is that? I don't remember what that is, so I got to go to the README. And this is your friend. A lot of stuff, I like, I admit, I don't understand half this crap. But I'll just go through, and as you learn and watch other people and learn from other people, you come back and revisit this stuff. And you go, oh, that's what that is. Okay. There's MT. Memory tweak mode. Why did I do that? Memory tweak mode, range 0 to 6. To start with 1, they recommend that, and increase only if the GPU is stable. All right. For the 1660 Ti... This is from Red Fox Crypto. They recommend 1,000 to 1050 for the 1660. I'll just put it at 1050 right now and just go with his settings. Just to, just, just a test. Okay, so here are my settings. So I don't have to run MSI Afterburner in T-Rex Miner, which is awesome. You can specify any settings you have, overclock settings you have in the command line on the batch. All right. Where are we? We have T-Rex 0.24.7 installed. I copied over my previous version, NiceHash batch file, which currently mines to um, ETHash algorithm to the Dagger Hashimoto, which is NiceHash's pull, and it pays out in Bitcoin on NiceHash. So we have our settings in on the T-Rex miner 0.24.7. Memory clock 895, I had to set that. If without it, the uh, hash rate was way low. Power level, same to same. The uh, wattage usage did stay the same. So I went in, put the uh, mem clock setting back in, set the uh, lock core clock value per uh, Red Fox Crypto's recommendation on his video at 1050. I did try to tweak that up a little bit and it actually lowered the hash rate but kept the power consumption the same. So whoever came up with these ranges knew what they were talking about. 1050 for the 1660 Ti is good. This is a laptop. This is a Lenovo laptop 1660. So let's let this rip. And you'll see my device's info echoed and that shows device zero is my 1660 Ti. And we're gonna let it go and grab some uh, accepted stuff here and see what kind of numbers we get. So after running for a few minutes, you can see some accepted hash rates here, some results on T-Rex Miner. We are at 27.85 mega hash, 27.86. Temperature is, is 49 Celsius. Power, 48 watts. And it's consistent, 48 watts. Uh, let's see the hash rate, 27.86 seems to be consistent 27.85 so right between between those two so what was the previous benchmark before i did this uh this um uh, lock core clock at 1050 without that and i was running msi afterburner with the settings i had i'm just double checking 27.86 45 so previous benchmark was well what happened oh i hate this sorry man i hate windows I'm afraid to upgrade because it might break everything on my laptop. So this is a laptop 1660 Ti. Previous benchmark was 27.3 mega hash. Here's the big one. Power wattage was 79 watts. 79 watts. And so when I, by putting in that lock core clock at 1050, I not only got maybe what, 0.5? 0.55 more mega hash. I've also cut the power 
down by like 30 watts. Almost in half, you could say. Pretty close. That's incredible. Red Fox Crypto, you're a genius for putting that video out. I just stumbled across it today. And I'm glad I tried it. And I recommend that everybody watch as much content, read as much as you can, and try things. Uh, I did up the uh, some settings before, and the card would kind of bug out. The miner would bug out and crash. And I said, okay, I know not to do that. So this is what I have, the memory clock for this laptop, 1660 Ti, and the uh, lock core clock. Yeah, excellent result. Less power consumption by a lot, 30 watts. And then uh, improved hash rate by 0.5. Oh my God, you just don't know what you don't know. So thanks a lot, man. Thanks, Red Fox Crypto. You're awesome. Go give him a sub. Watch his videos. You'll learn a lot. And this is a great experiment of the community is how people put out this great information. I'll consume it. I'll try it. And I'll say, yeah, that works. That's amazing. Uh, I have other 1660s cards in a rig i'm going to go play with them as well and try these settings and if i can cut down the wattage used which should also decrease the heat created uh, that'll be awesome especially on these laptops the laptops always run hot and if by cutting this off by 30 watts oh my god that's gonna the laptop's gonna be happy because i've been running gpu mining and cpu mining on raptorium so that that laptop been up there you know like a little furnace so this is pretty cool the laptop was a great guinea pig and it worked it was a success so I switched over to my Dell laptop I'm gonna try that first since it's a single card obviously a laptop it's a 3060 and I want to see if I can uh, lower that power consumption here is the current benchmark 40.42 mega hashes and we're on eth hash but we're my uh, we're mining to dagger Hashimoto which is which is nice hashes uh, pull so I mine ETH hash algorithm, but I get paid out in Bitcoin on the nice hash pool. So we're at, uh, what did I say? 40.42. And the power is 79, just like the uh, Lenovo. 79 watts. So let's hope by setting the, uh, by locking the core clock on this guy as well. And for the 3060, it's a little different values. They are showing, here we go. 1300 to 1350 we'll just try 1350 right and go with that all right let me get the latest t-rex t-rex uh, miner on this guy all right so we have 024.7 t-rex miner downloaded i have to go change the path so what i do i go over here to my 247 t-rex install directory folder copy that I click in that location box copy come over here and let's just paste that in there and if I want to I can do that devices info as well lock core clock 1350 per the recommendation on a 3060 all right let's just see what this this does let's go over here run as admin Blammo. There we go. All right, I'm going to let this rip for a few minutes. So I tried the lock core clock on the Dell laptop with the 3060 card in it. It didn't like it. I mean, it, it ran, but I got a uh, from a 40 to a 36 mega hash drop. So it dropped three mega hash. And the power consumption went up a degree, up a degree, up a watt to 80 so this laptop didn't like it so yeah locking the core clock on the dell 3060 laptop had no effect so i just put it back to normal getting 40 mega hash on that same power wattage usually of 79 so i nothing nothing would work on it maybe there's something else going on so anyway i moved on to the other rig this rig has three 1660 supers a 3060 ti a 3060 and a single 1660 let's see if we can get those 1660 supers down wattage wise from 84 watts and then maintain the same hash rate about 31 32 that'd be great if I can cut the heat the wattage down and keep the hash rate I'm gonna be happy all right stand by well if anything 
yeah, I gotta, this exercise has proven I need to keep upgrading my miners. This one also has 024.5 T-Rex. I'm gonna upgrade to 024.7, move over my uh, ETH hash batch file. This is going right to Ether mine, uh, ETH hash mining pool. So we'll get that done and we'll make this real quick. Make the setting accordingly, which is right here. 1660 super, 1000 to 1050. We'll go 1050 on the core clock, I mean, locking of the core clock and see if that has any effect. It should, I hope. Okay, on first pass, setting the 1660 super core clock lock to um, 1050. We have a little bit improved hash rate from 31.2 up to 31.5. And we have a, a little bit of less power wattage used from 83 watts down to 76, 77. So not bad at all. So we were able to drop wattage. So over three cards, well, you know, 18 watts just saved, right? And then here's my settings. Like I said, I don't run MSI Afterburner when I use T-Rex because I can set the overclocks in line in the batch file. What I'm going to do is on one of the uh, 1660 Supers right now is change the memory clock. I want to see if that affects it. I've been running minus 502. Others say try 1000. So I'm going to just try 1000 on the last 1660 Super and see if that has any effect on um, hash rate and temperature as well. Let's see what happens. Okay, lots of uh, settings later, lots of trial and error. Here's what I came up with. Setting the 1660 Super using the lock core clock works. I mean, it works in that I improved hash rate from let's say 31.2 to 31.5. Power consumption drop from 83 watts to 76 watts, 78 watts, you know, so six watts, let's just say it fluctuates up and down. So there's some savings there, maintaining hash rate. I adjusted the 1660 super, I mean the 1660 non-super, sorry, the first one there, that was getting 24 mega hash. Now it's at 21, but the power was at 90 watts. Here's the old benchmark. 24.43 at 90 watts. It drops it down to 56 watts. Unreal. Unreal. That's a lot. That's a huge power consumption. And I'm sacrificing, what, 3 mega hash maybe? 3.5? I don't know. And I think these other ones make up the difference. And I'm saving all that wattage. So I might just keep that for now. Okay, now the big difference here is we went ahead and... Uh, try to uh, impl implement the uh, lock, core clock lock on the 3060 Ti LHR and 3060 LHR. And surprisingly, nothing happened. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'm running here at 46 mega hash at 143. Same thing, 46. If anything, there's a little more mega hash coming out of it, which is interesting, but the power is the same. Exactly the same, 143 watts. Same on the 3060, we got 34.92. That's about 35 here, and it's 109 watts. Up here, 109 watts. So, no effect, I guess, unless there's another setting I have to do on LHRs. So no effect on the LHR cards. But the other ones I'm getting, you know, like I said, there's a lot of wattage savings with the same hash a huge wattage savings on the 1660 what other cards do i got i got 30 80 ti's but now i have to figure out does this work on lhr cards so that's i have to search around for that all right guys i have been playing around with some of these t-rex settings the uh lock core clock trying to figure out why the lhr cards were not being affected by it so what i had to do is I, I was still had the, the uh, PL value set here, the power level right over here. I had them all set individually. So I disabled it for every card. I just said dash PL zero means disable it. Don't, don't, um, don't, uh, don't take the setting. 
I could probably just leave it blank too, or just leave it out. But I left. I put the PL zero, and let me click over here. And then I went through, and over here I put in. Obviously, you saw the earlier the uh, core clock settings. I've been tweaking those up a little bit. And then I put in here LHR tune because I noticed before I went into the core clock setting, the lock core clock setting, I did have the miner running and it, it did say it was trying to, it was working on 74.5 LHR. Previously, we were at 46.6 mega hash at. 143 watts so that's right here so that's a drop we got about 23 watt drop maintaining roughly the same hash rate so 46 uh, let's see the 3060 is at 35.6 the uh, new 3060 is at 35 34.95 35 with a power of 103 so this came down from 109. Okay, so we're at 143 watts was previous at 46. We're at 45.5. It's been going up to 46. And it is 130. So roughly 13 watt savings with roughly uh, approximately the same hash rate. So there's at 46. So that did not change the hash rate, but the power savings are there. So now it's down to 126. Watt, so you know, saving more. And for the 3060, it's showing 34 mega hash at 94, and previously it was 35 at 109. So that's kind of a nice big difference. What 94 at 10, uh, another 14. Wow, so 30 watts savings. 30. Oh, that was on the 120. So there's like 23 watt savings. So it dropped down to 46, stayed the same. The power went from 143 to 120 now. Interesting. So it, it's, it definitely is saving. That, uh, that uh, lock core clock definitely does uh, some magic on these cards. And you just have to make sure you don't set the PL level in the batch script. So the newest settings now, it's back to 124 watts. Look at that, it's 20 watt savings. And then 94 watts. So 10, 14. 34 watt savings. Well, that's that's a decent amount of savings while maintaining roughly the same uh, hash rate. All right, I hope this helps. I'm glad I went through and played around with this some more. The only one that's really down yet, I'm going to tweak a little more, is that 1660. It's off by originally 24.4, and we're at 21. So we're at 3 mega hash off. I might just tweak up the, over, the uh, lock core clock setting a little bit at a time to see if that makes a difference other than that this is a great thing to look into guys if you want to save some power run run more efficient check out t-rex minor the lock core clock setting again I'm, I'm i'm no expert at any of this i'm learning as i go and i came across uh, the video today and i said i'm going to try that because i want to save on power usage and i want to cut down on heat so i figure the less watts i'm using the less heat i'm generating and maybe it'll make the cards last longer all right, thanks again for watching. I go find my dog. I'm out. Take care.